in this session i'll talk about survival analysis i'll start with the introduction then i'll talk about the uh, what is censoring what is uh, a survival function how do we estimate the survival function and how do we interpret survival curve and what are the applications of survival uh, uh, models <coughs> survival models are a specific uh, a special kind of models used to uh, model time to an event events can be anything uh, death of a patient uh, time to loan payment and then uh, getting a job or for graduation so in all these cases we can uh, model the time to the event so what is the time uh, taken uh, for the event to happen by using the uh, survival uh, modeling techniques in survival uh, models uh, we need a uh, couple of things crystal clear before we do the analysis we need to be very sure about uh, the definition of an event how do we define uh, death or default or getting a job or a payoff or anything um, so event definition should be clear time scales could be clear how do we measure the time in terms of month year uh, minutes seconds um, the origin of the event or uh, starting of the event when is it is starting it should be very clear in survival analysis we encounter with a special kind of data uh, known as sensor data um, sensor data are basically uh, the data uh, about which uh, we have a partial information if you're doing uh, a study on a group of patients some of the patient uh, may enter into the study uh, halfway and some of them might drop out of the study halfway also so uh, you will get uh, you will get some observation which are censored you can see on the screen uh, there is a start period and then there is an end period for the uh, for the uh, study some start with the very beginning and then some start later point of time before this study ends some people some uh, observation drop out and for some of the observations the event uh, uh, do not happen uh, by the end of the uh, end of the study in the case of patients uh, some of the patients might not die uh, by the end of the study okay we do not know what is going to happen with this patient later on so these are censored cases the beautiful thing about uh, um, i'll go back to the last slide the good thing about uh, survival analysis is that uh, it can handle censored cases unlike regression uh, models now what is survival function survival function is defined like this uh, which is denoted as uh, s of t probability that an event will happen um, after time t time t could be uh, if it is in terms of year it could be first year second year third year fourth year fifth year death of a patient happening after first year after second year after third year so that's the the probability of that is nothing but the survival function How do we estimate the survival function? We estimate uh, using Kaplan-Meier estimation method. Um, you can see the formula on the screen. It's the product of your uh, uh, conditional probability of uh, the event happening at each time. Ni is the number of observation entering in a particular time. Di is the number of events happening. At, uh, divided by the total number of observation entering to give an example uh, we are let's say we are observing 50 patients in a study one patient is dying uh, in the time one so survival probability conditional survival probability rather is 49 by 50 in time two we have only 49 observation now two out of them are dying the conditional probability of uh, surviving beyond time 2 is 47 by 49. We define survival probability 
एस ऑफ टू और सर्वाइवल प्रोबेबिलिटी एट टू व्हिच इज डिफाइंड एस द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट यू आर गोइंग टू और ए पेशेंट इज गोइंग टू सर्वाइव बियोंड टाइम टू इज पी ऑफ वन इनटू पी ऑफ टू व्हेन वी व्हेन वी प्लॉट द सर्वाइवल प्रोबेबिलिटी at each point of time in the entire study period we get survival curve you can see the curve uh, on the screen in the x axis you have the time uh, and then in the y axis you have the survival probability at time zero survival probability is always 1 that means everybody all of them have uh, the probability of surviving beyond time zero so at probability probability is uh, one at time zero and then gradually uh, the survival probability goes down quite expected um the probability that somebody is going to survive beyond uh, beyond uh, time 500 is 0.6 you can See the point, and beyond seventeen uh, hundred is point four. In other words, we can say that sixty uh, percent of the population are going to survive beyond time five hundred, and forty percent of them are going to survive beyond time uh, not seventeen hundred. It is two thousand, right? Sorry. So forty percent of the population are going to survive beyond time two uh, thousand. So that's how we interpret uh, a survival curve. How do we apply this in our business, or how, what are the applications? It's very much used in healthcare industry. Uh, in fact, it's originated from the healthcare industry, wherein uh, the uh, the uh, survival probability of patients who have undergone treatment is computed, and uh, survival curves are plotted. For a group of uh, patients, insurance industry also uses survival models quite a lot for pricing purpose and for a variety of uh, purposes. Uh, in credit risk industry, also we encounter with a lot of events like default, delinquency, bankruptcy. For all these cases, we can uh, use survival models to model for the time to happening of these events. So these are the cases wherein survival analysis is uh, used very much. Thank you.